I'd like to invite uh, Rajat Garg, if he can come up. Rajat, where are you? There you are, Rajat. Come on up. So Rajat is going to be uh, chairing the next session, which is uh, AI in action, some real user, real world user studies. We've heard a lot about theory. We've heard, heard a lot about governance. So it's going to be very interesting to see how AI is actually being used. Um, and uh, I'd like to invite the uh, panelist, uh, Saurabh from University of Living. Where are you, Saurabh? Please come on up. We can set up uh, four chairs, please. Shayak from uh, Adya. Uh, Amlesh from Make My Trip. And Omkar. Please, let's uh, set up a couple of chairs. Thank you. And we also have a uh, parallel session running in Maple Hall, the contemporary technology policy landscape in, in India as well right now. So Rajat has been a, a Thai member for many years and has been uh, one of the original founders alongside uh, Deep Kalra, Sanjeev Bichandani, uh, myself, PKR, Alok, um, that set up this uh, amazing conference. Um, Rajat's background, he's a graduate from Delhi College of Engineering and as well as Stanford, worked at Amazon for a couple of years very early. I remember, Rajat, you telling me you actually worked and had a chance to meet Jeff Bezos when you were first starting, which is an incredible thing. At Amazon, he led uh, the affiliate marketing team to drive growth. And then post-Amazon, he headed an online marketing and startup um, and moved to India in 2011 and started in the social media marketing space started a company that he exited in 2014. Thank you, man. That's a long one. We're not done yet. Uh, post that, he started e-commerce venture where uh, he's Stop working, it. He's working it. on a, uh, on, a on Mayo Pachar, which is related to healthcare in, in India. So, Rajat, we've known each other for a long time, so I have to make a proper introduction. But thank you, Rajat, very much for hosting this, and I'll let you take it away. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, so when we thought about this panel, we were thinking about how do we add value in your life, value in the audience life. Uh, so we are talking about AI, but in my own company, it's limited to you know, writing better emails and uh, writing social media posts and nothing else. So I went around figuring out right? So I met these amazing individuals who are doing not just you know building products in AI, but also using AI very effectively. So the goal of this panel is to basically bring those things out. I'll start with you know uh, Saurabh. Just you know, if each one of you can give a quick introduction about yourself and your company, and then we'll start, just dive into the topic. Hi, uh, morning. I hope uh, no one got stuck at traffic. There are lots of traffic. Uh, so uh, we are a global student housing managed marketplace. We're in, we're into global mobility and we help Indian international students with their post admission, especially housing. So uh, anyone who goes abroad, we take care of the accommodation and post admission service. Hi everyone, I'm Shayak Mazumdar. I'm the founder, CEO, CTO of this company called Adya.ai. Uh, what Adya does is it offers the entire AI stack for enterprises to build their AI solutions. So there are three things in it. First, we built our own large language models, which are outperforming the best models in the world in terms of performance and cost. We have an orchestration platform where you can create any AI workflow that you want in record time. And we have a provisioning platform where you can optimize that AI, launch your own GPUs, and run it however you want to. So this is what Adya does. A little background about me. I'm an ex-Indian Navy officer, retired left commander. I run hotels and restaurants by the beach in Goa. I also run multiple businesses across the world. Thank you. Thank you, Rajat, for having us. Hello, good, still morning, everybody. My name is Omkar, and uh, I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Superwitty AI. Um, about Superwitty AI, we are helping um, federal agencies, governments, large enterprises to automate a lot of their processes. So we work with the likes of you know, US Army, US Navy, State of California. In India, we work with State of Madhya Pradesh, BMC Mumbai, and we help them to be a little bit more efficient on what they do using AI. 
My background is that ex-founder, ex-professor, and now a big, big evangelist of how AI can radically transform the way we work. So thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Rajat, for giving this platform. My name is Amlis, and I work as Vice President of Engineering in Make My Trip. Make My Trip is an online travel agency which provides bookings for travel-related, anything travel-related product like hotel, flight, bus, rail, you name it, you will find it. And also it helps in planning your tour and your experience and post your travel, you can give the feedback to us so that it can help further travelers. So that's it, thank you. Cool, thank you guys. Uh, I'll start with Shayak. Shayak, how is AI getting used in your company? It's one thing to build AI tools, but using AI internally. So what are you doing with AI technologies today? Thank you. Um, so we started off last year uh, taking baby steps. We were starting to use some AI for automating sales scripts, etc. And then what happened was I was called as a speaker at uh, GCP Next in Las Vegas. And it was an eye-opener for me. After coming back, I told my team that we have to radically change everything we do. And um, in the last 12 months, we built 17 enterprise applications, a platform where anybody can build their own AI, etc. And 75% of this code has been written by AI. We have an entire framework where the product manager goes in, says what they want, the product roadmap, the BRD, the project plan, everything, including the data flow diagrams and the architecture diagrams are generated by AI, which then get optimized by my team. Then we have a subscription into Claude. We use Claude, but you can use something else also. I found Claude works well, which is connected to our coding platform, which, we call, which is what every developer uses. It's called Visual Studio. The, Whatever code we've written in the past, we've given that AI some understanding of that code. We've given some old code. Based on that, when we tell the AI, this is what we want to build, it builds the entire code, front end, back end, everything. Then my developers take that code, maybe correct a few things, and run the whole QA on it. It is just incredible how efficient it is. The same things that used to take me six months is now getting done in less than a month. That's how much more efficient just the coding practice has become. On the other side, on the GTM side, business development, we've done something very similar. Every sales meeting, should I continue? Yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead. Okay. So every sales meeting which we do is recorded, automatically transcribed, and AI does a beautiful solutioning on that, that this is what. It automatically gets fed into the main playbook. And the main playbook is optimized after every meeting by the AI document. One, two. We built an AI agent ourselves where we simply go and say, these are the type of customers we are looking for, and these are the kind of people we are looking for. It goes to the internet, finds those people, finds their phone numbers, email IDs, everything, goes back to the playbook, identifies what to tell them, crafts an email, sends it to them. My lead gen has increased to 50 cool. leads. So, Shayak, I'll interrupt you here. Sure. Because I think Omkar uh, also, because I wanted to ask Omkar on that as well. Because, Omkar, you are approaching a lot of B2B customers, right? And you were telling me that you have automated pretty much all of that. Yeah. So we'd love to hear about that and other things that you're doing with AI. Yeah, perfect. So, you know, in the morning, Rajat asked me, Ki bhai, Pindara full hai kya pura. I'm like, let's do it, right? Because um, I'll just give you a background. We are a 70-people team. And looking at the volume of business, what we're doing, and the customers, sometimes I think we should be, at least be a 200-people team. Now, the opportunity of saving on 130 people is completely on the basis of applications, what we use. So I've actually listed down a few applications, what we use. Some of them, we built it by ourselves. Some of them, we found it, found it very, very good. So talking about sales automation, right? So again, B2B, classic company. We sell to U.S. companies. We sell to U.S. governments. We sell to Indian enterprises, Indian government. So... Um, all our leads, and some of them are not AI, although they have .AI in their URL just for kicks or for their prospective investors. So uh, the first what we use for inbound is R2B2B. If anybody is on LinkedIn following the best content on sales, R2B2B is doing it. What it helps me to do is get uh, real IDs, like LinkedIn profiles of people who visited my website on my Slack channel. 
Uh, it works only if you're selling to US customers, by the way. If you're selling to Indian customers, it, it does not work. Otherwise, you can use six cents. I find it very expensive. Uh, after that, I have an intern to map the visitor at what pages has this visitor visited and at what time. So I use Hotjar for it. Again, Hotjar is not AI driven, but brilliant insights. Then, you know, we verify it. Amazing AI tool called MailLook. You can use MailHunter. Uh, Mixmax.ai is what we use then to send email sequences. Uh, if m anybody is a junior SDR in my team who's just learning the the ropes of sales, we have bought lavender.ai, which kind of trains that person along the way. Uh, on receiving, we use reply.io, and we've, we've built our own super witty sales AI agent, which can start updating the HubSpot. We use HubSpot. Uh, HubSpot actually launched in Unbound last week, Breeze and Copilot. I've not found it very, very good. All right. the, the, for Outbound, we use um, OneShot AI, very good for profiling. Another shout out to an amazing Bangalore-based company called B2Brain, gives really good lead enrichment. Uh, again, classic, we use Apollo to determine user intent. Clay.com is one of the finest lead enrichment site what I've come across. Again, beautiful, beautiful use of AI. If I want to use, uh, I'll give you an example, right? I want to connect to a lot of people today. What I did was bardeen.ai, amazing tool. I just give the URL, I give the URL of this, uh, this site of, of in.ai. It identified which are the speakers, it understood which speakers or which delegates, whoever are attending are relevant for me to have a conversation, created a Google sheet, and if you're one of them, you would have already got a LinkedIn invite by me. This prompt was about 30 seconds to a minute long prompt, right? And then finally, I use SalesCan to send those emails. I have a lot of tools which I'll discuss, but predominantly what I want to end with is that, you know, we've kept a budget aside, right? Not all .ai tools are working out for us, right? But it's, it's pure experiment. You know, the second try, the third try, go to G2, read all the reviews. That's better time invested by me and my team rather than going through resumes is what I think. Very cool. Um, and Saurabh, since you are doing more B2C, right, and there is a calling component involved, and it becomes quite difficult when there is a calling component involved. And I believe you have done a lot of work on that. So can you talk, uh, talk about that one? Sure. Thank you. So rather than me do talking, let the product do talking. Yeah. It's, it's a call of approximately three minutes, but it's worth each every second. Hello, is this Shefin? Karan from University Living. Are you available to talk for a few minutes? Um, sure, yeah. I'll send a message though and WhatsApp to Krishpo. I noticed that you recently visited our platform regarding student accommodation in Sue's saying, Marie, mm -hmm. would you like assistance in finding a place to stay? Yes. I believe you'll be attending Algoma University, is that right? Yes. Okay, Algoma University. Could you let me know when your session begins? Um, session as in like, what if my class is going on or not? I mean, when do your classes start at Algoma University? Well, I'm currently enrolled in the university. Got it. Since you're already enrolled, how long do you think you'll be staying in Seoul Saint? Marie? Marie, who's Marie? I meant Sulsang. Marie, the city. How long do you plan to stay there? I'm not at Salt Mary, no. I'm at Brampton. Okay, Brampton. Could you let yes. me know when your session begins? Could you please tell uh, me when your classes start in Brampton? It, I'm already enrolled. Like, it's already started. Yeah. Got it. Since your classes have already started, how long do you plan to stay in Brampton? Maybe for another year. Okay, for another year. Do you have any specific preferences for your room? Well, I don't mind shared accommodation as long as the rent doesn't go above 450, yeah. Awesome. That gives us more choices to find a place that fits your needs perfectly. 
would you like to schedule a follow up call with our accommodation expert yes great would tomorrow at 6 pm work for you um sure just one more thing is this phone number 6479372884 also available on whatsapp um yes great in the meantime feel free to visit our website at universityliving.com thanks again for considering university living for your accommodation needs your trust is greatly appreciated have a fantastic day so real uh, call end to end thank you so real call end to end wherein uh, even we were surprised when we got this and we we heard it with the management we like are we do- going for a downsizing you know we are 350 plus team you know the kind of amount we are doing we should be 700 800 people team you know managing 8, 8 to 10 million visitors globally but this is the power of ai and yes uh, so i got into ai when you know uh, one find i did some master class you know there are lots of influencer uh, selling master class then i did my isb certification and from there i mean it it just blew me anything everything we can do through ai but uh, we need human observation if if it's just left to be ai then there will be lots of application which, which probably will not work end to end so coming back to this uh, product it's a uh, in house uh, automated stack wherein we we integrate our crm with uh, intelligence chatbots getting a ai agent and then use more machine learning and data to ensure that there is a context you know there are lots of ivr bot sounded bots around but we wanted to build a intelligent bot wherein and this is a uh, canadian uh, user so yeah without taking more time so um, i mean would love to discuss more about technicality but uh, i know we are yeah. probably short on time so over to you so uh, thank you sarab i think you know guys uh, if you look at last year when we were looking at ai tools and we were internally evaluating ai tools for using if the technology was not there uh, it couldn't do a lot of you know reasonable discussions or uh, analysis of what people are do- talking about but now the technology is there um, and he has played something in english yesterday we were talking to an ai company and they did a bot for us um, and we are going to try that in our company and it was in pure hindi and uh, it, a person on the other end will not realize that an ai bot is talking to them uh, that is the level of uh, you know uh, technology where it has come today so i'm going to uh, get uh, you know amlesh involved from make my trip because all of us are startups so we have an advantage uh, we can do anything right uh, but from a make my trip perspective where are you you guys using ai yeah. so from make my trip perspective we have certain things which are very fundamental like privacy of data that we cannot compromise we cannot send our data outside so we are in the game since last 10 years and we started gathering data we have started taking the first step by gathering the data of each footprint customer puts into our website or app and then we started building some model and some data science algorithms on top of it to personalize the experience of customer so that once you come to our app and you book the five star hotel we and you come again we propose you always the five star hotels in your ranking whereas if i have booked a four star hotel i will get four star in the ranking top some some sort of that kind of personalization using data science we have started like 7 8 years back but with ai coming into the picture it has obviously eased the system because now we have used it in ai to transcribe the customer agent conversation so and on the real time so assume that when when agent is talking to customer and the transcription is going live in their panel and seeing what is going on and the moment the call hangs up the summarize of that transcription is available to the agent to submit and that summarized transcription is not only useful for agent to submit but it also used to train further agents and also to analyze what 
customers are saying about the product. At the same time, we also use the same summarized transcribe to generate customer email for agent, which agent can tweak and change the content of the email and send it back to the customer. Similarly, we have used AI for voice bot in flights, which can book the flight ticket from start to finish. It also take care of the complex tasks like payment options, completing the bookings. So these are the few use cases which we have added recently. And uh, what are the tools that are using you using internally for uh, doing these AI implementations? So we have these things we have built in-house by using the open AI model somewhere and somewhere Microsoft, some other models. So these all are in-house tools. Okay. And uh, so I will not uh, involve Omkar in this question because he has already spoken about the tools. But Shayak, uh, you know, you talked about engineering, you talked about uh, many things that you are doing. So what are the tools that you are generally using to achieve that? Okay, so I'll try to give a way to think about it. I'll also call out the tools. The way I personally think about AI is it is as transformative as the internet was and we are in the internet 1.0 kind of a stage with AI 1.0 today where we are seeing the initial impact of AI. Whatever things we don't need to build in-house, those are the things which we take from the market like a annotation tool, like every meeting, summarizing, transcribing, we use it from the market. But whatever is fundamental to our use case, for example, that sales engine, we are not using anything from the market, we built it ourselves. Similarly for engineering, why are we doing that? I think there are four levels to technology and all four levels are changing in front of our eyes. The infrastructure which any technology is built on is moving from normal chips to GPUs even in our phones. The operating systems, Android, iOS, in front of our eyes is becoming AI enabled where the operating system knows what you want to begin with. And then on top of it, the applications which are being built are being powered by AI. So we started creating this in-house, understanding that the world is changing, that we have to build these capabilities so that others can leverage. And uh, we ended up building that entire capability set where anybody can build. Now calling out the tools we use. Meet Geek. Meet Geek is a brilliant tool, the best I've seen for annotating any meeting. Just use it, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, second tool that we use is Claude. Obviously, everybody knows about Claude, but what most people underestimate in Claude is its power to just code for you. We put all our old code into Claude, it learns and generates all the new code. My coding time has come down by three times. This is not something which is insubstantial. I have built 17 applications in 12 months, enterprise grade. Something that nobody can do, no human being can do. The third thing that we do is uh, we use um, these um, marketing automation tools uh, where the AI comes from our own use cases. So we don't use the AI that is um, available in those applications because they're very narrow in focus. We create our own automations and we plug it into those applications. So summarizing, we believe that applications will change by themselves. You talk to it, it will build the UI in front of you. It will build the logic in front of you. It will build the back end in front of you. We are seeing some of those applications in front of us. If anybody here is using Vercel V0, I'm calling out Vercel V0 because it is the best in the market when it comes to UI development. Try using Vercel V0. You will never look back at developing again. So we are coming to the point in history or in human evolution where we will be using these applications to build everything fundamental in a business. Over to you. And Saurabh? I'll keep it short. Uh, so lots of non-technical founders here, right? So read.ai, uh, in fact, that is where I, my, my probably, I don't have the word, but my pagal burn for AI started there, you know? It record everything, you get a summarized call to action, all the minutes to meeting, then schedule everything. And this is the brief I've given to my team that 
can we do this for our sales team, business development team, wherein, see, we all know most of the sales people, business development people, they don't want to put back and complete their CRMs. You know, they hate it. I, I've been a sales guy, I just hate it, right? So how we can make things easy for them? So that's the brief I have given to my team. So that is what we've been building in-house. While on my individual level, read.ai, Codium is one which probably, it's, it's quite popular and it's, it's really nice for uh, developers. Uh, apart from this, we create two uh, tools for our in-house, which is SEBI, uh, Study Abroad Buddy for International Education. So idea was how we create top of the funnel. And we started with a wrapper on OpenAI, but that's how we all started and now we launched uh, this voice bot, we launched uh, a accommodation for uh, G, uh, accommodation, uh, accommodation for uh, no GPT accommodation.com. I guess that's the right uh, why. So yeah, there are lots of AI tools in the market, and this is where I agree with most of my panel that not every tool is is working. There are lots of wrappers. We need to but try it out. Till then, you don't try, you will not get get it. So read.ai, Codium, and then uh, probably uh, would love to have your feedback on uh, SEBI. Study a broad body for international education. Thank you. Cool. Uh, so one of the main challenges, you know, when we think about AI, is getting the team to adopt it, right? Because uh, people have a very genuine fear of "agar AI se ho jayega to mac kya karunga types, right? And uh, uh, so, organizationally, culturally, what changes did you make? Right, and I'll start with you, sir. Sorry, I was eager to start. Uh, again, a classic example. Uh, when I started with AI, so first, there was not a buy-in from tech team. You know, there's, there's always insecurity. There was no buy-in even for leadership team. They're like, if we do this task in 10 minutes, and I was used to tell two hours, you know, more work gonna come, right? So all, each of us are founder, enterprising investors. So start with yourself. Don't rely on your team. If you don't adopt, your team will not adopt. That's why probably the decision of me doing AI certification or ISV was game changer. And from there, right while I'm speaking here, so there's a uh, training happening in my office, how we can use Gen AI in SEO, how we can use Gen AI in social media. And when the teams are buying in, they know that if they are not upgrading, either they will replace or we know what's happening. So start with yourself. We, I personally had two completely opposite experiences. My business team, we just have two people. So we were struggling. And they loved AI. Marketing video banana hai, bol do runway.ai ko bana dega. Um, ye marketing collateral banana hai, flux.1 mein jao bana dega. So they loved it. They, lo they adopted AI like fish to water. They loved it. Tech team ko jaake bola mene, ki bhai, uh, I have come back from US, everybody is building applications using AI. So hume bhi karna hai. They're like, sir, ye kaam nahi karta hai. this will not work. Hum AI use nahi karenge. So what I did was, I set up a pilot team of the interns that I had. And I said, karenge hum. And the first application I built beat the hell out of anything that anybody had built in the company. In, in terms of time, quality, everything, and interns had built it. I went back to my team and I said, ab bolo. And then I found it much easier to adopt. Everybody understood that they are being empowered by AI not being disenfranchised by AI. And that was important for them to internalize. Because if a team of interns have built an application that HUL loved, true story, then everybody knows that it can be done. And then they adopted it. I put a framework around it. And now everybody is like, this, oh yeah, we'll do it with AI. This, oh yeah. So the story changed. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, I have a 12-year-old son, and I uh, got a GPU server. <laughs> and he implemented the AI through olama.com. And I'm like, for me to think about all the steps of building a web UI and all of that, I have to go through that mental journey. But for him, he just did a Docker installation, and he's like, hey, here you go. It's easier for interns to do it <laughs> than the train guys. Omkar, um, um, over to you. Yeah, yeah no, in, in the same boat, right? Because... Um, the median age of my team is about 35, 37, right? So they started their career when, when internet was at an inflection point. So this is something of a reminiscence to them that, you know, ye internet ke time hum log ne seekha tha, abhi kuch naya aaya hai. Uh, we don't have a hiring freeze at the moment, 
but at the same time we need people. But what we've done for the next three to four months is that we have given a significant amount of budget to every department. Ki bhai, khelo AI ke sab, right? Find the entire department should be an AI assisted department. Be it my tech department using uh, anthropic uh, sonnet, be it my design department exploring everything from runways to mid journeys to so on and so forth. My uh, marketing department is so, so dependent on two things, SEMrush and, uh, and SEO.ai, some, some tool what they're using. So the younger guys, right, between the age group of like 21 to 24 uh, who are just freshers, who possibly have completed all their assignments in college using AI, they have a lot of faith in AI, right? Because if assignment clear, then what is your business? Right? So we are seeing that, you know, next three to four months, freehand budget that, you know, use some kind of an AI tool and try to show the same output. If that happens, there is no need to hire more people. And there's this underlying philosophy that if we have dot AI in our, in our URL, right? Can we have every department to be an AI assisted department and kill are like, maybe the first tool might not work out for you. Maybe the, maybe just the rapper, some micro SaaS entrepreneur in some corner of the world has, has built out for you, but just keep on using it and then start providing to that feedback to that entrepreneur. And then we kind of assemble and then, then we start selling. Sometimes, you know, you gave the example of HUL. We're dealing with, with a couple of state governments in the US. It was actually built again by a 22, 23 year old team who, who put together a good, good kind of an AI assembly and we were able to ship it and, and it worked as long as money is hitting the bank, nobody is, nobody is complaining. So in conclusion, AI assisted departments is, is what we are having right now. And Amlesh, because you are at Maypai Tribe, different yeah. scale. <laughs> so not very different story than what others said, that people having hesitance and saying that, okay, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. But what we did, we created a group and asked them to go and play with the tool. We use Copilot and we get training for Copilot and we tried to do some different prompting and we have not used only for code generation but also we are now doing it for code review yeah. and architecture yeah. reviews also it is giving fabulous results there um, also q also qc entirely using AI. yes yes um, the uh, an entire regression sab kuch, matlab, literally uh, story writing se leke documentation yeah totally agree. very cool uh, so we have under five minutes left, right? So I'm just going to switch to rapid fire. Um, and I'm just going to ask you to name the tools, best tools, and anyone can respond anytime, right? So there's no limit. Data scraping. So we use browse.ai and we do a lot of social listening through AppSumo, which is not an AI tool, but browse.ai is doing a fairly good web scraping tool for us. We built a tool using Serper Search. Anybody wants it, I'll give it away. It's, I'm making it open source. Anybody wants to use it, build on it, do it. Very cool. Uh, we, we are trying our hands on Bardi. Uh, PRD, MRD right now? Uh, so I've made a list, right? So I have <laughs> answers for everything. So it's not really a... Right, so what was the question? PRD and MRD. Right, so I'm going to give you like two tools, right? PRD, BRD, we are using ClickUp Brain. ClickUp is what we are using amazing for, for creating BRD, PRD. Uh, the other extension of BRD, PRD from a sales guy is, is filling an RFP form. So we've developed our own AI agent, again, in the spirit, willing to give out to anybody who has lost their hair filling RF, RFPs. You know, you can just, you know, get RFP sorted in, in like a couple of so minutes. So after the event, you can, you know, yeah. get, the, get to these guys and get the access to those yeah. tools. In terms of PRD, BRD, Meet Geek, does such a beautiful job of documenting every single thing. And then you feed it into Claude PRD, matlab, literally my PRD ek minute mein banta hai. My entire business requirement, product requirement, documentation ek minute mein banta hai. Meeting ke, last time I did a meeting with an enterprise client, meeting ke beech mein usko documentation de diya. He was like, how? Wireframing. Wireframing. UI's are. UI's are, okay. Um, coding, you have already talked about Claude.ai, right? Uh, SEO. So SEO, as I mentioned, uh, I got the name, it's SEO Capital, and then, you know, legacy AI company called Jasper.ai, well, free Gen AI, but still doing the job very well. So we are using in-house, using the open AI model for SEO, 
And for PRD, BRD also, we are using co-pilot only. All right. And that is working very be beautifully for evaluating how effective or how good or bad the PRD, PRD is. But for SEO, uh, I would say be careful. Which one? For SEO, be careful. You know, I mean, that's my experience. You know, uh, people are uh, still, you know, discovering. Google is discovering, you know, we have seen not so great results of using AI in SEO. Uh, so we we are just uh, experimenting with Gumlu, um, so it, uh, so it allows you to. With, so we have like you know 30, 40 thousand articles on a site, another you know hundred thousand medicines on a site. So it allows us to find interlinking opportunities, which is very difficult to do for any human writer. Um, so I'll skip the content creation one because you highlighted the SEO problem. But what about the video generation? Go, go for it. <laughs> I think there's uh, the best way to do, it depends on what kind of video. If you're just doing tutorial or explainer videos, go use any, uh, like Canva, etc. It does a beautiful job at it. But if you want to create good, world-class videos, the best way to do that is generate the images using mid-journey or flux.one, pass it into runway.ai or cling. Trust me, the videos you'll get, five, 10 seconds, we can stitch together. I've created some world-class videos which would have taken crows to build in seconds. Yeah, so I love this company called HeyGen.ai. Uh, before this role, I used to be a professor, and we had to create so many video content. I created a digital twin of me about one and a half years ago, had the back end with GPT-4 that time, one year ago, GPT-4. And uh, my God, like if you would have seen the, uh, the demo by 11 labs of Reed Hoffman, Right? He was able to answer questions in, in real time with his voice cloning and video cloning. We use this tool, HeyGen.ai. Again, just want to highlight, when we, I started first using it, one of the early adopters spoke to the founder. He was doing about 400K, 500K, completely PLG driven. I think about a month ago, their revenue was about 30 million ARR. Uh, so I, I love HeyGen. Uh, I don't know what the state is right now. The lip syncing was, used to be a problem there. Now Synthesia, Synthesia is also extremely good at uh, digital twins, and Synthesia.ai is possibly leading the world in terms of how good they're doing these clues. So I think uh, he's already standing. So one last, automation, clubbing all of this together. I'm an automation company, so I'm going to self-promote superwitty.ai any day. I'm going to promote Adia.ai because it is built for people to generate any kind of automation in minutes. I'm already using them, so uh, validation for them. <laughs> so for automation, we have like uh, again in-house tool, depending upon the open AI model. So mostly on the you are not sharing any of your tool here. <laughs> <laughs> no public, names. That public that company. <laughs> that doesn't work. Uh, so we are uh, experimenting with Make.com. Yeah. We we'll love to try our tools as well um, to do that. Hopefully, guys, that brings us to the end of the session and the time's up. Uh, hopefully, it was useful for you. And you guys can take this and, uh, you know, implement in your company. And uh, you guys can pick their brains. They will be here for some time. And we'll try to collate the list of these tools yeah. and share it with the audience. And hopefully that will, uh, you know, you can try those out. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you Rajat. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the panelists. Uh, Rajat has a, a small gift for each of you. We can line up for a picture. And... Um, how many people have heard a lot of these AI tools? Raise your hand if you've used them or heard of them. And how many people took notes writing down these tools? How many people recorded the session are going to use AI to summarize all the tools used? Please raise your hand. Stand up. No, no, behind. Please stay up. Rajesh, if you could share the summary using AI with everybody, it would be appreciated. You can tag uh, Ty Delhi and ID24. Thank he recorded the whole thing. He's going to use AI to summarize the AI discussion. That's great. That's fantastic. Yes, feed. <laughs> um, if you want to learn more, there's actually a Microsoft Gen AI workshop that's going to be being run right now in Maple Hall. Um, so you can go there. And I'm going to get ready for our next panel in a second. But before I do that, um, I want to thank our partners. Tomorrow, TMRW and MinFi. Thank you so much for your sponsorship and everything. And let me invite uh, Ritesh 
to the stage. Ritesh, if you could come up and sit in the middle, please. Appreciate it. And Ritesh is going to be uh, moderating the next.